greatest chefs in the land. From LA to Chicago, New York to San Francisco Bay. Come taste the cuisine food critics call grand. And if the Curian adventure's about to come your way. Great chefs, great cities, great food. Lovingly prepared by the best great chefs. Work their magic before your eyes. Great chefs, great cities. It's a feast from east, north, south, and west. Stay tuned, cause you're in for a delicious surprise. This is Great Chefs, Great Cities, a culinary survey of our metropolitan areas, showcasing some of the finest chefs in America. This time from Honolulu, Roy Yamaguchi. From St. Paul, Ken Goff. And from New Orleans, Jean-Luc Alban. While growing up in Tokyo, Roy Yamaguchi took home economics for the sensible reason that he was the only boy in class. Several years later, he is still singular. His chain of Euro-Asian upscale restaurants are thriving in Hawaii and Tokyo. For his appetizer, he offers Kona Shrimp Lumpia with spicy chili mango sauce. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put the shrimp in this bowl. These are Kona Shrimps. As you can see, they're, they're, they're nice and... Uh, uh, fresh, they come from the uh, waters of uh, fresh water over in Kona, the Big Island. And the second thing I'm going to do is make the uh, chili sauce, which consists of right over here. I have some nice mango, and then we have some sake. This is a Japanese rice wine. I have some shallots. A little garlic, a little ginger, and then I have some uh, Malaysian lingam chili sauce that I have here. Now this is the spicy part of the uh, sauce itself. And then <clears throat> I'll add a little bit of the uh, uh, passion fruit syrup. Then if you like to, what you can do is add some sugar. If you think the mango is not ripe enough, what you can do is add the, uh, add the uh, sugar, okay? Because I can tell the mango is not very ripe on this, on this one here. And then what you want to do is just put this over a, a medium flame and just have that cooking for about 15 minutes. <clears throat> now, meanwhile, what, what I'm going to do is cook the vegetables for the, uh, the Olympia wrapper itself. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is have some sesame oil. You want a nice hot wok. Okay, have your tongs ready. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get some ginger and garlic. And just have this ready. I'll just grab both of these. What I usually do is <clears throat> put the ginger and garlic on one side of the pan that doesn't have any oil, okay? And then the next thing I want to do is grab this uh, Chinese mustard cabbage. So as soon as I hit, have the uh, garlic and ginger starting to, uh, to saute, I'll put this immediately. Okay. Now that way, the ginger and garlic doesn't burn as badly as it may without the, uh, the, uh, the vegetables itself. So I'm going to put that in there. And then next, I have the shiitake mushrooms. I have some cilantro, green onions. <clears throat> okay, saute this for a little bit. And now <clears throat> the, the shiitake mushrooms absorb all the, uh, the oil. And what you can do at this point is if you like to, you can add uh, maybe a little bit more oil. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Okay, you want the wok to be very hot. And then I have some Chinese water chestnuts, add that, 
And then, these are some Japanese rice noodles that, that have been cooked already. So I'm going to add that. Okay. And then, just kind of toss this around. Get it nice and just mix it all up. Now after it's sautéed, what I want to do is just <clears throat> maybe just move this over to here in case. And what I want to do is just cool this down. Just cool it down. Once the mixture has cooled, and just make believe it, it has cooled, uh, what I want to do is combine this mixture okay now with the shrimp I have the Kona shrimp here Let's combine this together and then what I want to do <clears throat> is flavor it with the Thai fish sauce Uh, you, want, you, want, you want that Thai fish sauce that has a, a lot of that flavor of the anchovy right in there, okay? Make sure it's well seasoned. Now, if you notice, I don't really use any of the, uh, <clears throat> the salt in my recipe. What I use is fish sauce or soy sauce to flavor the, uh, the ingredients rather than using salt. The spicy chili mango that. sauce will be reduced to a syrupy <laughs> consistency. The mixture on the goes onto lumpia wrappers, which are the Philippine version of wonton skins. Okay. Let's take one lumpia wrapper and put this filling right in the middle. About two, two and a half tablespoons. And then what you want to do is just wrap this like a burrito. So you can just wrap it, fold it over kind of form the burrito itself, fold in the edges, and then wrap. And what you want to do is seal the edges with a cornstarch mixture. And what you can do actually is, uh, you know, sometimes when you have cornstarch just sitting with the, uh, the water and the cornstarch itself, what you can do is actually put some, some sort of an oil, if you like, right in there. And what this does is, hopefully, <clears throat> by, by, by putting the, uh, the oil, it'll actually um, help the cornstarch and water to separate. And, you know, sometimes you let the cornstarch stay, stay around for a long time, and it's kind of hard, and you have to put your fingers in and mix it around. But what happens is, uh, by adding the, uh, the oil, it, it'll, it'll stop that from happening. So put some oil in there, and then kind of use your fingers or a brush. And just kind of put it on the edges and then roll them up. The lumpia will be fried in very hot oil. Okay, I have my sauce cooking here. What I'm looking for is a kind of a syrupy consistency. But at the same time, what I really want to do is, of course, get all the flavor of the mango right into the, uh, the sauce itself. Okay. Now, when you put the lumpy in there, you, what I try and do is, is, is hold down the, uh, the part where I had folded so that that way when I put it in, it'll, it'll, it'll actually stay together um, a lot better. So I'll just kind of hold it, maybe hold it down on that end first, and let that end cook. Incidentally, the lumpia was coated with cornstarch. Okay, so after it's nice and cooked, uh, what I'll do is turn, turn it over. Garnish for this dish includes a whole cone of shrimp quickly sauteed. 
These are nice and fresh, though. I, I would imagine that it'd be really good to uh, leave it like a medium rare. The sauce is strained before service. And then kind of, uh, what you can do is kind of arrange it so you can see the inside. That looks kind of nice. And then if you like to, if you have a shrimp, of course, you can put a shrimp on there. And if not, you don't really need to. But it's kind of a nice garnish like that. And then have some black sesame seeds. And I have some white sesame seeds. Put that on there. And then take some chives. And just kind of cross the chives around. And at the very end, what you can do is put some of the mango kind of around the dish. And that's it. Bon appétit, great chefs, great 